Would you buy a product, any product, without knowing what's in it? Highly doubtful. We talked to an expert, hoping to uncover some products with misleading labels. She could name dozens of products you're buying on a daily basis. So vitamin water is in the midst of a massive debacle right now in the courts because they are having issues being sued because any one of us I think would agree that vitamin water is being marketed to be healthy for people, seeing as how it's called vitamin water. You're supposed to be able to get vitamins from vitamin water. However, they don't put a nutritional fact label on here to tell you how much sugar is in here. Vitamin Water is a company owned by Coca-Cola, so right off the bat, we're starting with a Monsanto-owned company. Yikes! And then you're going to have the issue of the fact that you have actually no idea what's in this bottle. Renata talked a lot about food labels that can mislead people. We wondered how many people actually knew what is inside the products they are consuming. So we asked some students to answer a few questions. The first group defined what they thought trans fats meant. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Stuff in potato chips. What is it like when you transfer fat? Trans fats are uh, bad fats. They're making you fat. Food companies are mislabeling their products, so consumers are not aware of what they are buying. Skittles contain many dangerous ingredients in their product, such as tartazine, which is cancerous. Skittles! Mmm, taste the rainbow. More like taste the crap. There's a few things you need to look out for when you're looking at products that are shiny, with a shiny coating on them. Canada does a pretty good job of making sure that um, we don't have any insect ingredients as the shiny coating on our Skittles or jelly beans or smooth, shiny covered chocolates. Wait, what did you just say? That um, we don't have any insect ingredients as the shiny coating on our Skittles or jelly beans or smooth, shiny covered chocolates. So the shiny coating on candies we eat is made from the feces of the female lac bug, also known as shellac. This is the same coating on our furniture. Consumers have the option to educate themselves or boycott products. Renata left us a few tips to help consumers make good decisions. There's a lot of different cover-up names for foods that are really bad for you. So like yellow, like yellow 5, um, also known as tartrazine, is carcinogenic, um, as well as monosodium glutamate monosodium glutamate is MSG and a lot of times people don't know the full names of some of these bad food ingredients that are put in food. The benefit of having a nutrition label on is you can see how much sugar or how much fat or how much whatever it is that you're looking at is in there and that's always a good thing because then you can sort of break down what's going on but really it comes down to the ingredients. If the ingredients are as close to natural as possible, as, less, as least processed as possible, um, and as whole, so not processed, then you're, you're doing a lot better. Da, 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 da.